Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bloodshots. Movie, movie, the movie. This is a movie. The podcast. <laughs> where we talking about Line. You hit it. You didn't hit the cut, oh. Wes. Okay, take two. <laughs> You're doing it in the wrong order. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. Take two. Action. Rolling. You have to wait for the film to roll. Okay. Rolling. <laughs> Take two. No. Nope. <laughs> ah. I already said No, we're two. done. We're done. We're done. I'm not doing it anymore. Take three. I'm done. I'm done. Joining me on my right is Wes. Bob Hello. Gartner. On the left, the Schmitty. Schmittner. <laughs> Schmittner. Schmitt. So I have the real German last name. You have the fake German last name. Yeah. I have the Americanized version of Baumgartner. Baumgartner. After the last time we talked about that, I actually met somebody who spelled it the shitty way. S C H M I T T. And I was like, Schmidt. It's like very like it's it's sharp. Yeah. You know? It's like fuck. Miss Schmidt. Miss Schmidt. Schmidt <laughs> High School. Yeah. Ugh. It's terrible. Algebra. But as always, guys, if you like what you see, head on over to Facebook and like us, YouTube, and subscribe. Uh, we, you can also find us on Instagram, Snapchat, all the social media, and Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. And then if you want to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash derailed. So, wow, there's wacky stuff. There's some news. There's some news of brewing. Eagles won. No one cares. Wrong podcast. <laughs> it's the right podcast. General topic. It's football. It's on, it's Nobody on cares. TV. Nobody cares about football. My blood. You my care about football. No, I not about that fucking Super Bowl. It was, it was still a good game. It was a good game. Yeah, it was. A, it was an offensive, offensive shootout. I didn't know what was going on. Oh yeah, he, I forgot you were invited. We talked about you and how you weren't. <laughs> so yeah uh, the Eagles won and that's it great there was commercials there was two that I liked there's two trailers and a couple commercials Westworld that was good Avengers mm-hmm. but we've already seen the Avengers one this was a new Avengers that wasn't trailer. a new one it, was I didn't, a new one it looked the fucking same to me Solo so yeah the teaser. Jurassic World Solo Fallen teaser. Empire <laughs> Kingdom, Fallen Kingdom. Um, the Chris Pratt extra Michelob. Michelob commercial where he's the extra. Yep. That wasn't even good, though. I liked the second part of it. It was a two-part commercial. Oh. The first one where he shows up and he's like, oh, I'm not the star of it? Oh, I'm so famous. Oh. Yeah, that and then I did the like. second one where like everyone else, he was like in the background and you could see him and I'm like, yeah, that's where you fucking belong. This <laughs> is shit. Um... I liked the, oh, what about the Eli jump? Manning dancing with Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, Dare, there was a dancing. string of those ones, and I was like, uh, and then that one was like, okay, this yeah. is the culmination of Did you those. see the new trailer for uh, Quiet Place? I missed that one, but that's okay. I'm going media blackout. You are going yeah. media blackout. Did you use? I saw it, it, yeah. Okay. It's, it's going to be fucking amazing. I already amazing. know I want to see that media. You don't Fair need to do anything. All right, what but about the we do have part? something to talk about afterwards as we found another psychological Aaron movie uh-huh. that's mm-hmm. coming out. Um, that looks really fucked up. <laughs> what about the Tide commercial? <sighs> I'm over it. It's Tide. No. The, the best thing about the Tide commercials was all of Terry Bradshaw's tweets. Then he was like, the whole fucking Super Bowl is about Tide, and I wasn't even any, any of that shit. Because they put Howie Long in it, like all of his buddies <laughs> that were in it, but they didn't ask him to be in it. And then he's just tweeting like how mad he is. <laughs> That's so funny. He's probably kidding, but he's like, he's like, I fucking love Tide. <laughs> Did you notice that... Budweiser spent five million dollars to say that they spent a hundred thousand dollars donating water. Donating water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Budweiser. That's crazy. That's so crazy. And then there was like five. There was like five ten million dollars worth of black screen. Oh there. yeah, like thirty yeah. seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking. That money. guy got fired. The awkward uh, Justin Timberlake kid. Not realizing what, who Justin Timberlake is. He was on his know. phone the whole time. The memes, though. The, the memes, memes that came out were the best. Where yeah. it's side by side. Mm-hmm. He's like tweeting like this, or like holding his phone, and then Justin Timberlake's next to him, and it shows the tweet. And it's like, I thought you said Justin Bieber. <laughs> Someone on Reddit lives next door to that kid, and he posted it on Facebook. And so there's the, act, the, the actual picture that he took with Justin on, on Reddit. Nice. That's pretty funny. So yeah, the Super Bowl happened. And it's over. Oh, and then there was that trailer for the the Cloverfield movie. Which came out. And then it was, like, released. 
Yeah. Because I pulled up Netflix after it, and we were watching the trailer for it, because it just automatically loads you into it when you launch Netflix. Yeah. And then it, we backed out of it, and it was like, play. And I was like, oh, shit. So we'll talk about that later, because I watched it. So, a little bit of news. There's the this French director, Jean-Pierre Genet, right? He did uh, two movies, The Delicatessen and Amelia. I which I remember Amelia. I don't know about the delicatessen. But he accused Guillermo del Toro of plagiarizing a scene from delicatessen in The Shape of Water. Interesting. So now it's like a big thing. Because The Shape of Water got 13 Oscar nominees. Right? So now there's probably going to be like a lawsuit and like all this stuff. It's just super Zero interesting. Zero interest in either of those movies. He sent he sent Guillermo a message that was like, "You have a lot of imagination, a lot of talent. Why go and steal the ideas the ideas of others?" And he's just like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Hideo. Yeah. And then, so, is there? I feel like there is a trailer for the movie The Hummingbird. Anybody know about that? If it was, it was as quick as a... Like, we were we were talking... I think maybe, maybe we were just talking about it because it was supposed to be Olivia Munn's deal. And then she made someone mad. So now they got Mia Jovovich to replace her. Damn. How mad did you make him? She probably Pre-Berlin f- Film Festival. She probably showed someone Chris Pratt's dick pic. Because <laughs> they're dating now. We don't want to talk about that. You're just all sorts of hurt, aren't you? <laughs> Pratt. Because he's, he's, part, he's Andy. Now. He's a douche. Most people know him as Andy first. You know what I mean? That's people what, that like. I mean, it's just stereotypically what happens when you get too much money too fast. But didn't he always say that he would never do that and yeah. he would never be like that? I don't know if he said that, but he certainly presented himself to be that. Yeah. So. Game of Thrones frontrunners, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, sign on to a new Star Wars film series. There's another series? There? Yeah. Might be the Obi-Wan movies. They're rumoring it was three announced on. It was announced on Tuesday. These new films will separate from both the episodic Skywalker saga and the recently announced trilogy being developed by Rian Johnson writer-director of Star Wars Last Jedi. David and Dan are some of the best storytellers working today, said Kathleen Kennedy, president of the... What? Their command of complex characters... They're telling someone else's story. Yeah. Depth of story and richness of mythology will break new ground and boldly push think- Star Wars in ways I find incredibly exciting in the summer of 1977. Thoughts, Aaron? It doesn't make any sense. In the last, what, you time? have filled in blanks on someone else's world, and now you're being credited as world building and great storytelling. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? He, I, they took content and just filled in the blanks. Yeah. Like, also, you also have the guy who wrote the material with you, so you're not even. That doesn't make any sense. Also, why are they letting Ryan Johnson do a, a trilogy? They must really like him over there. Maybe not anymore, though. I don't know. He's still on, like, a media, like, correction. Shitstorm. Just like, hey, no, no, you should like this. You should No, no, this is what we meant. No, this is why it's good. This is why it's good. How much one bet there's going to be a weird director's, a director's cut that's going to... We've added a bunch of scenes, but it's going to be the same length because they cut a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, I saw this article this week. Did you know there's a huge backlash with... Um, Henry Cavill for uh, Super uh, Justice League. Why? Because they had to, he had to go back for reshoots, and for Mission Impossible, he grew a mustache, and he wouldn't shave it because he needs it for Mission Impossible. So they CG'd over the mustache. Oh, really? Apparently, DC fanboys are going to review bomb Mission Impossible because of it, like on you know Rotten Tomatoes and stuff. So it just looks like shit. Awesome. Trolls. Sounds like something you should be doing with your life. There is, they are, they you are let a mustache ruin your day that bad? They are going to release a Snyder cut of Justice League, though. Cool. 
So we can see what his true vision of the film was. Yeah. Good for him. I guess, I don't know, it doesn't specify if it's a TV series or not. What? The Star Wars thing. Because the, the, those two guys are like, well, we're not doing anything until Game of Thrones is done. And then it's like, no release dates have been set for the new films. So it, that's what they mean, is like a trilogy, like a series. I don't think they meant like a series, like a show. Okay, good. Yeah. That is good. I just like, they're... they're I mean, I'll give them a, a a little bit of a bone, but like that article gave them credit for Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Like, what did you do other than bring it to television? Like, you you adapted people's work. You, why would you, as that article, George give Martin. him that? Why would you give them the, the credit? only like the only credit would be what the last two seasons? And you're still filling in gaps. Yeah. Well, yeah. You already know the ending because the guy who built that world is with you every step of the way. The books end where? Currently, uh, after the red wedding, right? Yeah, uh, I mean spoilers or whatever, but like no, no, it's Danny. Remember when Danny flies away on the dragon and like mm-hmm. you don't know where she goes? Yeah, that's that's where, where it ended. That's okay, season, that's book five. Yeah, uh, okay. When she was in the pit and everybody attacked her, the sons of the yeah, and then she sons gets of the on harpy. the she gets on the dragon and flies away mm-hmm. and like you don't know where she is right, she's right, just, yeah. So and she gets dropped off. Yeah, okay. that's where book five ends. So yeah, it's a good chunk of the show. <laughs> sure, but you know the ending. I know. Like if they didn't know, if George wasn't a part of it, and like you just made the last like, I don't know. I have more problem with that article or anything. I'm sure that they're probably like, hey, whoa. Like, we didn't... I don't know. Yeah. Unless I heard it wrong, but, like, they're no, just giving heard, them credit. I heard it the same way. Mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Amazing storytellers. Like, the, no, the you, you're building. telling someone else's story. And you, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. So Matt Smith is going to play Charles Manson. In, uh, Charlie Says. Yeah, Charlie Says. That goofy-looking motherfucker? Yeah. How does that work? Excellent question. He has to play, like, specific people. You don't just put him... That's weird. He's goofy-looking. The director is the one who did American Psycho. The lady? Mary Heron, yeah. Yeah. She's good. She's really good, actually. I like her. I mean, American Psycho's great. Yeah. She's, She's a hell of a filmmaker, for sure. Maybe she could pull something out of Matt Smith, or, or is That's it? It's fine. Is it just I don't think it's. Looked? Yeah, I think he's a fine actor. I just think like you got to look at the two people and be like, yeah, well, yeah, maybe not. So I actually saw that. <laughs> I saw that same article. And Did that's, you? That's the side by side picture they're showing. Yeah. What? That does... He doesn't even <laughs> remotely look like him. That's just gonna pull me out. You don't think that's gonna pull people out? No, it is. Unless they prosthetic it. But that'd be a lot of. Pro- eh, I mean, we've seen worse. Franco did it for for the other movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Very weird. Um, Steve Wynn. Uh, what? Steve Wynn? No, Steve Wynn. The, the owner of Wynn Hotels in Las Vegas. He's like Mr. Las Vegas. Also is now getting caught up in the whole sexual misconduct thing. Sure. Mm-hmm. The first he one actually, of those that comes out that I don't believe. He actually resigned as CEO of Wynn Resorts. Save the stock prices. Which is huge. Yeah. Woof. I mean, he's got enough money. He can save. Steve Buscemi gets gets one of those, and I'm like, this is all bullshit. Everyone's lying now. (laughs) Yeah, that's it for news, really. Um, Unless you're a Scott Bayo fan. (laughs) No. Did you see... So... During the Super Bowl, you saw the Crocodile Dundee fake movie trailer oh, yeah, for the yeah. ad for Australia. Mm-hmm. Chris Hemsworth says he's on board for actually doing it if they want to make it. Well, it is a movie. It's going to be a movie. Not that anything. wasn't an actual joke. From everything I've seen, like, is open to starring in real Crocodile Dundee movie. Like, that that's the article I read. Like that's it's not weird. a real film. It's just a tourism ad. But we also saw something the but same day. There was day. an actual trailer for yeah. it. Yeah. 
that was a fake trailer that they made before the Super Bowl to get people hyped for it. So when the Super Bowl ad came out, it was just a, a really elaborate travel ad for Australia. But it was like a trailer for the movie, though. It was a really elaborate travel ad for Australia. I had seen stuff before, too, though. That's weird. Again, they're building it up. It's um because the Chris Pratt commercial, he did a commercial earlier telling everyone he's starring in the Michelob Light commercial or Michelob Ultra. So he like was getting as a method actor to learning. It's not a movie. I totally thought that was a movie. A lot of people did. I had s- That's so weird. What's that guy's name? Uh, Danny McBride. Donnie. Donnie McBride. Are we done with the news? Yes, news are, is are done. Are we in reviews? We are in yeah. reviews. When are we in whatever the hell else we want to talk about? After reviews. And you okay. guys both watched a lot of movies. Yeah. I've well, seen a new sitcom. we saw Winchester. What's that called? AP Bio. Is it, that good? It, it, <laughs> no, it's actually really fun. It's, um, it stars, uh, fuck, I don't know his name, uh, Dennis from It's Always Sunny. Okay. As a former Harvard professor of philosophy who fails tenure goes to some shitty Ohio high school to be a AP bio teacher and doesn't want to teach the kids and ruin someone's life. Channel. Huh? Channel. NBC. Not the worst for sitcoms. <laughs> Not the worst for sitcoms. A couple of your all-time favorites started there. Or were on there. Come on. Office and Friends were both on that channel, so. Long yeah. time ago, both those. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, and Parks and Rec. A long time ago. Parks and Rec wasn't that long ago. Oh, nine? Anyways, Winchester. Winchesterton Fieldville. <laughs> Winchesterton. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> that movie was lots of bleh for me. I've seen that in the reviews for that. That's the it like super scary haunted house. It didn't make me mm-hmm. angry because of anything in particular, like like CGI or acting or story. It was like, but it never was like, whoa. Doesn't it have a fairly big cast? Uh, or is Helen Mirren the biggest name? She's yeah. by far the biggest name. And then the other guy. The other guy looks familiar. Yeah, he was in something. But was it was he the one that was in um, Gatsby? Was he the bad guy in Gatsby? While he's looking this up, Parks and Rec ended in 2015. Oh, I know it ended, but it started a long time ago. Oh, nine. Yeah, I was right. Nice. Barely. Long time ago. Jason so, Clark. So what? They can't come back. NBC. Yeah. ABC hasn't come back from Lost. Name a time besides when Lost was on when ABC was really good and since TGIF. Uh, never. Then, until Lost. TGIF mm-hmm. to Lost. There was mm-hmm. a dead period. Mm-hmm. Lost to, unless you're a Grey's Anatomy fan. Mm-hmm. Huge. Oh. Huge Grey's fan. Yeah, he wasn't Great Gatsby. I love the anatomy of Grey. Meredith Grey. And when has and CBS... And, and, and in your eyes, when has CBS ever been good since Seinfeld? No, it's Seinfeld was NBC as well. Yeah, Seinfeld was NBC. I just remember seeing the reruns on CBS. Eleven, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or no, CBS is seven. Uh, for me, it was two. Two. Yeah. Two. C- two four six. CBS, NBC, ABC. Two NBC. was like where you put your VHS if you had to put it on mm-hmm. channel two. Yeah. Three. Or public broad. Three public was access. Canada. Seven was pro- public broadcast for me. Oh, and seven Florida was CBS. two. <laughs> two was PBS for me. Nine. Yeah. PBS is nine. Seven. Uh, it's two in Florida, buddy. That's so weird. <laughs> three was the shit. Three was the three was the input S- channel. No. Yes. Three was City TV in Canada. And on Fridays at 1 a.m. they had baby blue movies. Softcore porn. Nice. Oh yeah. Skipped a lot of activities on Friday nights because I wanted to be home. But it was at for one. Baby blue. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Two, four, six, seven, twenty-two, twenty-eight. Uh, oh, twenty-two so was UPN slash WB slash. Twenty-two. Yeah. Okay, me too. And then twenty-eight was Fox. Thirteen. 
But yeah, Fox has been 13 forever over here. So True. Just That's so weird. so weird. What was NBC? Five? Six. Two, four, six. I six have... was Kong. Which was what? ABC or CBS? I don't know. Like, Kong, Kong was Kong. No, there's an know. affiliate. Like, it's Kong. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Seven was... Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Two was literally like... That was three. You, you could put it on three for like Nintendo. Yeah. And then it would be TV and then let's push the power button and then it would go to Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. But then if you wanted to watch three, you would just push it to two. You had, had a little switcher. You could change it from three to two. Yeah, I had the switcher mm-hmm. too, but I had channels on two, so it was always three. Never had channels on two. Was this in the mountains? This is fun. This was just all, that's the entire other side of the state once you get past Spokane. Huh. Interesting. In Florida, it was four, six, seven, and ten. Was all the the major channels? ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. Yep, and five, then Channel seven, Two was PBS. Thir- five, seven, eleven, thirteen. Two, four, six, twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-two, yeah, was, was no, that WB. was Fox. Twenty-two was twenty-two was WB. Yeah. yeah, what was it? Was like UPN to WB to CW to like every change. CBS had King of Queens. That's what it. That was thing his, was. for you. Was its last true swan song? Yeah. It's the number one network on television. It's so. because old people watch it. <laughs> it's because the shows are the same. Every week, the exact same thing. Who has person of interest? Uh, CBS. Is that? Yeah. That's a. Do you know that's a Jonathan, Jonathan Nolan show? The Westworld game? Hmm. No. Yeah. It also ended, I believe. I think so. yeah, yeah, it did end. They still got NCIS. And NCIS Miami. And NCIS no, LA, everywhere so. else. New Orleans. You're thinking of CSI Miami. Yeah, CSI. CSI. That ginger Kentucky. fuck. <laughs> fuck that ginger fuck. Rural CIS. CSI. CNCIS won't CSI work. CSI Chimicum. NCIS won't work in any <laughs> centralized state because it's, you know, Navy. C- True. CSI Chimicum is well, one person. Well, that's NCIS. Yeah. CSI can work anywhere. Oh, yeah. CSI can work anywhere. Yeah. CSI Wichita. Yeah. NCIS is just naval. Yeah. It's the same shit, just near the coast. And you got criminal minds, and there's another criminal minds too. Criminal, oh yeah, criminal minds, non-criminal. <laughs> Most then there's like minds. nine law and orders. Yeah. Oh, S- only SVU, to... VCR, DVD. Mm-hmm. Hey, I can't. Well, I can't lie. I like SVU. <laughs> just, it's something when I was younger. My was I like, like, I like uh, Law and Order four door sedan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear SVU and I, Not I think SVU. Like, SVU. SVU. <laughs> well, I just love in Criminal Minds how they always have their private jets and their fucking four door Tahoes, mm-hmm. those Chevy Tahoes. Law and Order <laughs> hatchback. Hearst. Hearst, sure. PT Loser. Hearst. PT Loser. Hearst. <laughs> yeah. All right. Winchester, I give it a solid. Yeah. Not even a mad, just don't bother. Save your money. It's so not worth anybody's time. Was it, okay, it's supposed to be a horror film. Did you jump at all? Well, yeah. Jump it scares. Goes, it goes... Bah! Okay. And it, it's, it's impossible to not... Story like... is crap. Acting is crap. That's the thing, is it's not crap, but it's not good. So it's meh. It's completely just waste. Yeah. It's just... Okay. Yeah, it's not very... It's like, it's like when you light a firework and it's a dud. Is that... Always supposed to be very low readings. Uh huh. Okay. It's it's this this updated. Recently, gotcha. So. Okay. Don't worry. About <laughs> it. And what was the other one? That was a big one. Mari's game. That's right. Molly's game. Molly's game. That was super good. Aaron Sorkin's movie. Jessica Chastain. I just Elba. Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. That's the one about the Olympic skier, or she was gonna be an Olympic skier. And then she got injured, I knew, but she's I, super smart, I so she learned. I saw one trailer for it and was excited, and then it flew under the radar, and then it got nominated and get, got put back in theaters. I didn't even see a trailer for it. I, I've never heard of this film. True story. Based on a book, real person, mm-hmm. Molly Bloom, was uh, competing to be an Olympic downhill skier, mm-hmm. trick skier, or something or other, got in an accident, uh, starts a underground, not underground, but like... Uh, a, a behind the scenes uh, gambling, high stakes gambling, blackjack, mm-hmm. or not blackjack, poker table. 
You can kind of say it's underground because it was illegal anyway. Sure. So. But it wasn't really illegal until the end. Until the rake. Until she started taking yeah. the rake. So it was actually kind of legal. Uh, but it would be like celebrities, <laughs> like $10,000 buy-ins, huge pots. Uh, she And then she started taking rakes and doing drugs and got caught and the FBI arrested her. And it's, it's her story. Very interesting. Michael well, Sarah yeah. plays uh, a Hollywood actor like Michael Sarah. Uh, it's supposed to be Tobey Maguire. Mm-hmm. Wait, in really? The, in the book, she names names, but not specifically who anyone is. But she's like, people who would come to the table are Leonardo DiCaprio, Ben Affleck, uh, uh, Alex Rodriguez. Mm. Um, they, like, huge people. And then uh, the people who have read the book and kind of followed what was happening when it when it happened and then saw the movie have been like trying to figure out who this Mr. X is is who she calls him in the yeah, book. Yeah, Player X. Player X, yeah. And then they kind of cast Michael Sarah as like this little scrawny dude, you know, and it's like everyone is pretty sure it's Toby Maguire. Mhm. But he's a fucking dick. Yeah, he like he's like a little shit. Yeah. Does Michael Sarah play Little Shit well? Yeah. Yeah. He did a great job. Everyone did it. I mean, that movie is... So this is nominated for... Screenplay. Screenplay. Adapted screenplay. Mm. Okay, so, so it's on the same list as stuff like Logan. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it is classic Sorkin where, like, the dialogue is, like... Yeah. You know, and, like... Fast-paced. I hope I don't... I can't... Yeah. Did I hear... I didn't even hear what they said. Uh, which can turn people away and but it draws me in instantly mm-hmm. i just it's super addicting to me i you really need to watch the west wing like seriously maybe i do maybe i don't it's maybe really do. good maybe i do yeah maybe i don't don't you my i think the the best part about the filmmaking part of the movie is the pacing mm-hmm. and he's so good at it and he did it in the social network too is going from uh, the the real time stuff like what's happening now like meeting with the lawyer and then being in the de- uh, deliberations and and the oh the quick cuts back to like and the then past. the backstory yeah and like mm-hmm. here like here's what happened and like the, like once you start to get enough information and just a little bit where like you're not bored you're not like okay I'm ready to go back to the other stuff but you're like you're still wanting to get a little more information right at that point uh, they'll cut back to the other section and mm-hmm. then you'll get a little bit more information until that point where you're like okay now I want some more and then you get to you get more of the other stuff and it just keeps you going and like uh, he will pull you along in the story and it's great and like the, the fucked up thing is is social network and this is like not his stories they're not his original stories but he has this way of telling those types of stories. And they're very similar in many ways. Same thing with Jobs. Yeah. Steve, Steve Jobs movie was fucking amazing. Yeah. But that that was different, too, because those are just, like, different scenarios, too. So he didn't have the luxury of, like, going back and forth and, like, mixing it up and stuff. You know, it was just, like... Yeah, it was already... You know what was really good, though, is we watched uh, the first episode of Newsroom again last night. Yeah. God damn, that was such a good That is show. probably the fastest dialogue. <sighs> of, that and the beginning of Social Network, like, Eisenberg and... And uh, Mora, I think her name is, uh, at the at the bar like that, and and newsroom like you're, it's just like whoosh, 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 whoosh. everyone's quippy, everyone has a quip mm-hmm. to everyone else's quip, and then you got a little bit of story, and then there's quip, quip, quip. It's like Jesus Christ. But yeah, Molly's game is undoubtedly fantastic. You would like it. You would definitely like it. Fantastic. She like didn't know anything about poker and like taught herself the rules, the lingo. All that stuff, and she's like teaching it to you as you're watching the movie, hmm. so that way you're not like, well, I don't know what any of the, whatever the fuck this st- stuff means. You know what I mean? So she's like, oh, this is what the rake means, and this is the river, and this is the draw, and all that's the turn and everything, and it like teaches you basically like hands in Texas hold'em, like what a beat, what a bad beat is. You know what I mean? Full house, full boats, stuff like that. It was really, I, I loved it. It gave me, gave me crazy casino flashbacks. Big time. And it's not, like, <laughs> detailed. Like, like they're not like, here's the definition of this or that. Right. It's just, like, it's because it's during a hand that she remembers. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this person has this, this, and this. And that's better than the other person who has this, this, and this. And you're like, okay, now I know that that's better than this. And yep. then you can take that mm. knowledge and apply it to somewhere else. Not as good as the way the big short did it 
at explaining like complicated stuff, but similar. Hmm. Love that movie. Fucking watch amazing. Love that movie. Honestly, that you it's remember, honestly one of my favorite movies of the last couple of years. I've scary. only seen it once too. I've only seen it once, but um, Steve, yeah, Steve Carell's character in it, so good. Like just how angry he gets, and the fact that almost like it's still it's based on true events, and it's like his speech, he, the question he asked at the thing, which we have documented proof that's exactly what happened. I know. Like when he stands up in that room and yep. asks, yeah, it's his because he's the audience. That's yeah. the best part of that story is he is us learning all these things like what does that mean and they're like oh it's this this and this and like you know and then they'll cut to and then the, he gets angrier he's just and learning he's more like, like what so like the like the virtual ipo or not whatever they are yeah iho and then the two guys who meet uh brad pitt synthetic there's yeah. like synthetic oh god it's like there's bets on bets on yeah. bets yeah. on and there's like Whoa. subprime how mortgage. is this yeah, yeah. like wow it's crazy. They put a bunch of C's together and make it an A, and like mm-hmm. they, the way that it's. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> and I, it's really the one thing about that movie that I was was, I was slightly upset when I very first watched it, but then thinking back on it, it's kind of worked well. None of the four big characters that are on the cover ever meet. Ne- ever meet. That's I. That's perfect to me because you're getting the story from all these different angles, and like, you've got people taking advantage of it, the people getting fucked by it, the people who are under, trying to understand what's going on and try to take advantage of it, and then realizing that it's fucking wrong. And then Brad Pitt's character, who's like, I'm going to show you how this works. You're going to hate your life after yep. it, though. That, that's basically what he says to these guys. Exactly, well, yeah. Um, he's like, he's so funny. Because, yeah, Christian Bale's the reclusive yeah. genius. Yeah. But then loses all the his fucking, mood. yeah, he'd always listen to the, the metal music. And yeah, stuff. that Walk was crazy. Barefoot I remember that. Brush his teeth. <laughs> in, the, in the storm. Yeah. Uh, and then, let's see. Altered Carbon? Well, um, Cloverfield. Clover. Oh, yeah. That's Clover. the movie. And the, that's the last movie, I think. I watched another movie, though. The Paradox one? Cloverfield Paradox? Yeah. So I haven't seen that yet, and I've heard very eh, things about it. It's entertaining, um, but it's a lot of, like, gobbledygook. It's a lot of, like, um, time and space things. Oh, good. <laughs> you know, and, like, different timelines that get mixed, mixed together. Hmm. And I don't even think that they really know what they're talking about when they're, like, when they're, like, writing the script. They're like, what if this happened? And it's yeah. like, what? It's a brainstorm that just went right to screen. It just, yeah, like... Because one article I saw of this, and I didn't read the whole thing, I just saw the headline, is it is J.J. Abrams' second lowest rated film on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it, what is behind it, but it's still... First like, Cloverfield? I, no, that's actually very highly rated. Is it? Yeah, that was really kind of groundbreaking. Because it also time. came out of nowhere, and it was a good shaky cam film. Yeah. Mm. If you don't like Shaky Cam at all, there's, not for me. there's, there's not, no saving grace to it if you don't like it, but it it, it was so good to me until she gets pulled off of the rebar and then is running down the street in the next scene. Like, she has the rebar going, like, through her chest, and they find her on this broken building, and just like, huh, and you hear this, like, Kruh, and she's like, ah, and then it cuts, like, Kruh, like and then the out. next scene, they're like, huh, huh, like, running down the street, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You just pulled her, uh, and then it, and then it ruined it for me. Wow, totally. But that's like three quarters into the movie. Yeah, that was it was great. And and I remember, I think I was on the show like a couple weeks ago. I was I told you guys like there's a new Cloverfield movie coming. I had like uncovered someone on Reddit uncovered something of like they just got done shooting an, a Cloverfield movie, but no one knows what it is. And it was this Netflix one. It was supposed to hit theaters in March. And they just totally wrapped it up. They didn't. No one knew it was for Netflix. No one knew it was going to be released right after the Super Bowl. They thought they had like a theater release date and everything. I saw something in the news about um, they did that because J.J. Abrams has another film that they wanted to push to theaters instead. Is it a Cloverfield? Movie? Of that, no. It's it starts with a C. It's called like Commission or something like that. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. If you want to talk but about yeah. the other thing you're talking about, Altered Carbon. Mm-hmm is a book made into a show, of course, Netflix. 
It's got some... So everyone is, is alive now because of these little chips that go at the, at the base of your head and your spine. And then you, you're, that's like your soul and your spirit and your mind. And you take over a body, which is basically just like a, it's like, uh, you're not an android. Like you don't take over a robot body. Like they're, they're real bodies. Okay. They just take the soul out of them. Uh, or like grow them or whatever, and then when people die, you just get a new body, and they put your thing in there. Mm-hmm. And, and okay. the more the higher status you are, the nicer body you get. Like mm-hmm. there's a scene where these parents lost their little girl, and they have like low level insurance or whatever, and so oh, they go yeah. to the place, and she gets released, and she's like a like a sixty year old lady. Yeah, but it's like a it's like a nine year old. And she's like, Mom, Dad. And they're like, what the fuck? You just gave me an old lady. And they're like, sorry, you only have this insurance level. Like, you get what we have. Yeah. Like, they just had an old lady. Here's your overstock. Yeah. (laughs) It's crazy. Jeez. But then there's rich people who can buy clones. Yep. So they don't have to switch bodies. They can be that body forever and ever. Like the Russian mafia mobster guy, right? Mm -hmm. In the first one. That whole AI hotel is fucking cool. The one. I haven't gotten farther yet. I know there's a deeper seated thing. The, the AI first, hotel? Yeah, the first... With the, with the weird guy? Yeah. And the turrets? Yeah. Yeah. That was super weird. I know there's a deeper thing. The Edgar Allan Poe to that. one, right? Is yes. That what yeah. Mm-hmm. The Edgar Allan Poe hotel is yeah. super weird. And then he goes into that little room, and it's like all other AI people. Mm-hmm. And they're all like, oh, you got a visitor finally? <laughs> like all this weird shit. Yeah. It's so cool. And she's like, don't go there. Nobody stays there anymore. So the, the you, you walk... He's walking around the city... And it's just Blade Runner. Like, it just, mm-hmm. that's, I mean, it's like everything is taking place. Even, like, this tiny clips here and there I've seen, it's like, oh, it's it's Blade Runner. Exactly. Yeah. So imagine a Blade Runner TV show <laughs> in style. And then the story is, is like, detective. Mm-hmm. So, like, he is this other guy who dies. He's, like, a criminal. And then so, his little chip yeah. gets put in this the main character's body. And he is tasked with getting all of his crimes wiped away if he can solve this rich dude's murder. Like, and someone like killed him. Fifty million dollars and shit. Yeah, yeah. UN credits or whatever they call credits, it. UK UN credits. credits or yeah. Whatever, yeah. Side um, note. Yeah. Did you know that J.J. Abrams wrote Joyride Three Roadkill, <laughs> based on characters <laughs> created by by him or right. So he was part of the original Joyride. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's so funny. Yeah. So Altered Carbon, worth it? Fuck yeah. All right. I mean, it's a little, like, a lot. It's like, not one that it's you... It's a lot. Is it, it's not necessarily a show you binge watch, like, three or four episodes. You're yeah, like, it'll take one, a little bit out of you. Maybe two, and be like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But probably the highest production value I've ever seen on a on a... Netflix? On a, any kind of prepaid show. I'm trying to think. More than... I would say any of the Marvel film or shows, but... They don't do a whole lot, you know? I mean, like, there's a lot of action and stuff, and, like, they're explosions. well-produced. But this is, like, bonkers. Like, they're doing CG stuff, and, and it looks fantastic. It doesn't look... Okay. Like, that's, that's about what you mean. Nothing... Nothing in that world takes you out of it at all, and it, it just it's it's insane. The sets they had to build, like I could easily see Netflix doing something like that, or and being like, no, we can't, we can't do that. But they they did it. Like they build these these. They're sets making for money this. hand over fist. Man alive, they are. So this is kind of their oh, what they're doing okay. with all that money. I, I really feel like they're they're producing the shit out of it. All right. So. Cloverfield Paradox is the third movie in the series, right? So what they did was they pushed that to Netflix um, because they're releasing a fourth installment of Cloverfield called Overlord, which is supposedly World War II set. Yeah. It says, includes the studio's upcoming World War II set, Overlord, which the studio has set for theatrical release on October 26th. Oh, and that one insider confirmed will be the fourth installment of the horror series. Interesting. Hmm. The thing that I had read a couple weeks ago was definitely about this one. Because they had said it was like an explanation of the first movie. Because that's what, that's what this is. It's to explain how the monster got 
to New York to... in modern time. Because this movie takes place in the future. At least it seems like it from the trailer. Well, no. it takes So it takes place like right before. So basically what they've done is they've taken the Large Hadron Collider, put it in space, run it, and what everyone thought would happen on Earth where we open up a black hole and all this shit actually happens, but in space. Oh, okay. And so different dimensions get smushed together and all of a sudden they're in another dimension. Uh monsters are on earth and no one knows what happened because it just like poof. because the trailer i saw it has some girl talking to a camera it's basically saying stop what you're doing hug your family hug your kids run that kind of stuff yeah i don't know what that is in context too but um i don't know how this is a fourth installment because it just says they've already filmed it mm-hmm. and it just says the story of two american soldiers behind enemy lines on d-day <laughs> They're probably are just keeping details tight. I don't know what it has to do with it because I don't know. Yeah. Weird. But yeah, it was okay. It was just a lot of mumbo jumbo of like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like you just said, <laughs> you just said that these universe, these these dimensions have collided, and in that's the main character of it. Oh, okay. You recognize him? No. That's Euron Greyjoy. Oh, nice. The brother. <laughs> oh, I watched, I already told you about uh, End of the Fucking World, right? Yeah. Okay, I finished that, and that was so neat. Such a great little cute story about psychos. Cute dark story <laughs> <laughs> about psychos. Yeah. I finished Britannia. Jesus The first Christ. season. Nice. Well, it was only 10 episodes. Yeah. But it was really good. Hmm. It was definitely Game of Thrones. Yeah. Definitely Game of Thrones. It's That's like... Okay. Like these characters, no more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? End of the fucking world. End of the fucking world. Cute. No, before that. Cloverfield makes no sense. Oh, right. So they, they're they basically like, you're, these dimensions have crossed in, so on Earth they're like, oh my God, the space station is gone. Where's the space station? But there's, then you cut to the space station and they're like, where's Earth? Earth is no longer there, right? And then, so, like, you've got one dimension where Earth has no space station, and then, like, they all died. But then the one are the one we're seeing, they're all alive, and then they're, like, behind the sun, and so they, like, look <laughs> around the sun, and, like, Earth is right there. So now they're in the universe where the ship has crashed. So... But in that universe where the ship crashed, one of the ladies on the ship never went on the, on the ship. So there's two of her. Oh, weird. Right? And then some lady is like, you can't have your family and the ship in one, like, you, like you're trying to have the best of both worlds. And I'm like, that is the world you're living in right now. You just said that. Like, you you, you are, I don't know. It just lost me. <laughs> like, I, I feel like they don't know what they're, they just, how do you keep track of all that stuff? Like, they did not handle it very well. And that's what all the reviews are saying too. It was just kind of like, okay. They I went guess. too. They yes. tried to go too high science concepts and failed. Sure. Yeah. Because there's a lot of space time stuff that they're trying to talk about, you know, and even the very surface level stuff that I know about that uh, just kind of didn't check out. The math didn't work in your head. Didn't really work. Where like you watch Interstellar and the stuff I know about that, it's like. Okay, interesting. Like that, okay, that makes sense, you know? And this is like, no, what? No, no, I don't know. Ooh, Interstellar. I want to rewatch that again on the 4K. So good. <laughs> I love, <that. laughs> love it. Fucking Matt Damon again. <laughs> Always getting in trouble. I totally forgot Matt Damon was in that. Oh, what was that trailer that we saw where he, Matt Damon did that little creepy, where he was like in the door and he was like... They're like, should we follow him? Oh, Game Night. That's not Matt Damon. That's the guy from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad? Yeah. The guy with the dog? Game yeah. Night. Yeah, that's not Matt Damon. That's the guy Who? at the end, the, the last couple seasons of Breaking Bad, the, the weird looking guy that helps him out. Huh. You thought that was Matt Damon? Who is that? I don't know his name, but he's, he's in the last couple seasons of Breaking Bad. He's like their little helper, and then he kind of screws him over. Um, it's like when they're like right after they were 
They, remember when they turned their business into the bug bomb? Yeah. It's like right after that. Really? I know Jason Bateman. Remember when they steal the the Oh yeah, the redheaded guy. Yeah, he's okay. like he's like the he's like weird and like Jesse Plemons, yeah. I yeah. thought he looks like Matt Damon there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I really thought it was Matt Damon. Every you time I Matt saw Damon that trailer, yeah. That movie? That's I really did. hilarious. That movie looks hit or miss to me. So when when Bateman's hand gets shot and he screams blood, yeah. I think that's not funny at all. Like, like I feel like that's the most effort for a joke that falls flat and that really, it like, makes me angry. I still want to see it. I don't think I saw the whole trailer for that one. For Game Night? Yeah. Rachel McAdams, though. Always hot. And see, all of her lines were, were kind of funny. Um, so you, just, you said Matt Damon, and I just remember, did Downsize ever come out? Yeah. It's to, gone already. To minuscule reviews. Okay, yeah. maybe that's why I was like... Hashtag Aaron was right again. Two for two. <clears throat> yeah. Feeling good? Feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, Stop, hot, stop, hot. stop. There we go. Why? Feeling hot, hot, hot. I don't know. Copyright. I can't, I can't wait for my... Is there a copyright on that song? Is that even a song? Ole, ole. Yeah, it's Buster Point Dexter. The taxi cab driver from Scrooge. Yeah, but that's like a cover of that. Like it's like a sampling of something. Yeah. Like you know that song, that popular song ish. Right now it's on it's on the radio at your work. That's like it sounds like a uh, like a French song. You know they use like the French instruments, but it's like a it's like a dancey song, but they mm-hmm. it sounds French. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No. <sighs> Never. Mind. There's like no words to that song, but it's like a hit right now, or like was like a couple years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. So, Kai, Dragon Ball Kai, I have a question. Got it. Goku. Yes. Is an alien. He's like Superman, right? Yes. It. He's he's from another planet. Was sent to blow up, kill yeah. the planet. Then he gets uh, he bangs his head and then forgets about all that. Got yeah. It. So he's he's and and no one really, no one's really freaked out about that, except except for the couple times he turns into a giant monkey. Yes, but but for the most part, yeah, no one freaks out about that. But then Piccolo arrives, yep. and it's a big fucking deal. Well, okay, in the show, so technically you're watching the second Dragon Ball series. The first one is Dragon Ball. King Piccolo and Piccolo, technically Junior, were big villains. Murderated people wanted to take over the world. Okay. Piccolo, that's when they when he shows up to help save Gohan in Kai, where you because I'm pretty sure you've seen that part at least, right? Mm-hmm. He um they're like, oh god, they're coming to he's coming to kill us again because Goku defeated him once and he wants revenge. But now he's like, no, I'm gonna take we're gonna take that guy out first, then I'm gonna kill you. So it's more they're afraid of him be, not being and th- from what you know now, a demon. Okay. To being afraid of him because... So you're saying there's previous knowledge of him that I'm not aware of. Correct. Where Goku was not in Dragon Ball. No, Goku was the main character of Dragon Ball as a kid. You just don't know he's an alien. It, but in Dragon Ball Z, you, Kai... And Z. You know thing. he's an alien. You find out when Raditz shows up that he's actually from an alien planet, the planet Vegeta. And no one freaks out. No, because they've lived with him for years and they don't mind as much. They might. Uh, Piccolo they, shows up. I, it's so I don't know. So, like okay, so my question. okay, so Piccolo shows up, and like Krillin and Roshi and all like are all scared of him mm-hmm. because he tried to kill them all in the past. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You didn't answer my question. Got it. Got it. Got it. So how far? So episode three. So Kai. For those who don't know, Kai cuts out all the filler of Dragon Ball, mm-hmm. condenses the show considerably. First three episodes. You've watched the first three, right? Mm-hmm. Where does it end you? I can't remember. Okay. Do they... So, episode one, Raditz shows up. Yeah. Finds about... Is about to fight Piccolo. Then sends Everybody's his, really, like, talking about power levels and, like... I'll tell this you... This thing has level four and, like... No, no, this, no, 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 This no, no, rock no, no, level no, stop, two. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> power levels mean nothing at our bullshit. But everyone won't shut up about it. Oh, them. no, they won't. They won't until a past Namek. 
Like, I always saw that, like, power level 9,000 or something. Yep. Like, I knew what that was. Yep. And and now, like, I okay, I get it. Everything yeah. has a and, fucking and power level. And to be level. fair, here really soon, especially if Kai goes fast, power levels are bullshit and mean nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, not to them. Not not right now. <laughs> because it's how the Saiyans measure if you're a worthy opponent or not. Okay. Now, episode so Raditz shows up. Do him and Goku fight? Yeah. So in episode two, do him and Goku and Piccolo fight? I think that's episode three. Episode three. How, uh, I think. Or no, that's the end of episode two. So then episode three is them continuing to fight, right? Right. And yeah, three has more fighting Does with Gohan burst out of the capsule with insane power and headbutt Raditz right in the stomach, breaking his armor? That sounds familiar. Okay. You <laughs> sh- if you haven't seen the end of that fight, which I don't want to say. Because, eh. I don't think I have. Okay, is so Raditz and the, they're all still fighting. I think they're. I think yeah. I think they're all still fighting. Yeah. Okay, and like I said, this is a couple like a week. But ago. just tell you right now, I think those first three episodes cut it down about three episodes. Crazy. What did you say? It went from like three hundred to a hundred episodes. I want to get the exact number. That's like ridiculous. I honestly. I could use a, a Kai version of Lost just to cut out a little bit of the blubber. Is there a lot of blubber? Um, okay, Dragon Ball. So Kai has 98 episodes versus Z had 300. Damn, so like slightly more than a third. That's insane. They cut a lot of filler. Jesus, how much filler did they cut? Um, okay, you said you're on episode... 202 three. episodes. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Episode... Did you finish episode three? Yeah. Okay, then you would have seen something really big then. What did I see? Uh, Piccolo uses the special beam cannon. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... You, yeah, so in the, just this first part... Oh, God, it's episode six. Okay, so you're going to see Goku on the afterlife and then Gohan start training. That took months <laughs> when this was out in Dragon Ball Z. It's three episodes. Mm-hmm. So Kai is Kai just trims that fat. Yeah. It's fine. It's a lot. I like it. I mean, I, I, have, I have no reference. I've watched, like, so little anime. Yeah. See, I grew... So, anime. anime. That's how you have to say it. I grew up, um, it was channel, I want to say 22, at like 5 in the morning, Sunday mornings, would play Dragon Ball Z and like one other cartoon. I trained myself to get up that early to watch it. Good grief. If you're interested, there's a podcast called All Systems Goku. <laughs> okay. It's on uh, Spotify. And... Uh, they're, they're going. You don't pick Spotify. Spotify picks you. It's true. <laughs> it's very true. Uh, they're they're talking about Kai right now. There's only one episode of this podcast. Yeah, so they're talking about the filler episode or the lack of filler. Yeah. Okay. All systems. Never watched through. it at all. Yeah, I I woke up and watched Transformers and GI Joe, Spider Man, X Men, mm-hmm. Captain Planet. Yep, I watched Captain Planet. Yeah, the Planeteers. <laughs> Watch the Justice At League. At night, I watched TGI Friday. I watched Nickelodeon. Family Matters. Mm-hmm. Oh, TGI Friday. Yeah. Step by step. Step by step. Day by day. Yep. Full House, Family Matters. Dinosaurs. Yes. Oh, yeah. That had Goodman Not the in mama. It, right? Was that Goodman? No. Not the mama. No, not. But it had Roseanne? No. No. It had someone famous in it. Had Jim Henson making a bunch of really cool animatronics? No. Someone was in it. But that show has one of the most depressing endings. Yeah. For real. What else? Is that everything we saw? Movies and TV shows and whatever. For movies, yeah. I mean, I watched Altered Carbon. I watched Britannia. I finished that. Britannia is good. I hope they renew it. It was really good. There are two seasons, isn't there? No. Oh, no, it's one season. Yeah. No, two seasons was the. What the fuck was that show? You you said you. Frontier. There we go. (laughs) Nailed it. Dinosaur. I want Westworld. Did you ever watch the first season yet, Wes? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? Wow. Because I didn't bring over my fire stick to have air. The crazy crazy mom from uh, Arrested Development was Fran. Crazy mom. 
like the the mom. I can give you HBO Go. It doesn't work on my PS4. It does. It does. They sh- they fixed it. Yeah. Oh, they did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. If I can borrow that. Then. Damn, mm-hmm. you're right. Nothing. No one. I mean, Tim Curry was the devil. I'm talking about uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> was he really? Yeah. That's twice he's played the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Legend. Legend. Sherman Hemsley. Really? Yeah, dude. Moving on up. Yeah, he to was. the east side. <laughs> now he moved way up. Now. He just passed away recently, like a couple years ago. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. What are we seeing this week? Previews. Oh, we got to see uh, Black Panther. Is that this week? Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> that seems way too soon. I'm I pretty sure it. that it never was. happens. Let's just keep saying it's too soon. Um, oh, my hair. I look like. Um, oh shit! No, he's right. Comes yeah. out this week. No, next week, February fifteenth. Next week. That's next week. Oh, uh, really? Yes. What fuck's today's date. Today's six. the sixth, which oh. is Tuesday. So Thursday would be the eighth, right? Yeah. The eighth is Coco, Maze Runner, Winchester, Jumanji, Greatest Showman, Hostiles, Den of Thieves, The Post, Twelve Strong, so, Paddington Two, The Commuter, Star Wars: Last Jedi, Insidious, Forever, My Girl, Phantom Thread, Fifty Shades, Marathon. Oh bleh, God! Bleh. Oh no! Seven hours and thirty minutes of Fifty Shades. Oh God! Oh Kill me. God! Kill and me! And then right after Fifty Shades, Freed. Okay, so. Ugh. Just just for Black Panther right now. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. It's sitting at 100% critic reviews after 61 of them. 61 at 100? Get the fuck out of here. IMDb. I don't know how the reviews are. 7.3 out of 10. Everything on IMDb is 7.3. Google, 92%. Have like this. People movie. like it. 100%. That's crazy. And, and I, I actually was like, okay, how many reviews? I wanted to look. If you, you see all those, and then view all critic reviews, 61, and it's at 100%. That's bonkers. It sounds like they're getting money shoved down their throat. <laughs> Does that not sound fishy as fuck? Could, Look at the oh. critic review for Last Jedi, sir. Did you watch the preview? How? The preview for Unsane? Yeah, oh yeah. I, I already knew about that. I don't know how I feel about that film. Why? So the, the trailer... Who's looked, the star of it? It's a girl, right? Yes. Yeah. The trailer looks Charlie great. No. no. The trailer looks great. Elevation. The concept is cool, but I have a big problem with it from a fundamental standpoint. What? It's entirely filled with an iPhone. That's right. Who is doing it? Steven Sodenberg. Sodenberg. Yeah. But it, it's fine. N- Who cares? No. It's not like cell phone. It's like... Yeah. No, but he, yeah, it's still using it's, an... You can't tell the difference. Who yeah. cares? Yes, you can. It's the same as a digital film. No, no it's not. How? That's what we should see. The post. Yep. It's all it's old news. Though. No, it's not. Yeah, I'll rent it. We, there's actually nothing that comes out on Friday. It's Tommy so. Hanks and Bob Odenkirk. What's the problem? I mean, what's the difference between this filming the same thing that this fucking thing does? What's Quality the of video processor, sensor size. This does 4K and 30 frames if you want it, or 1080. With like, a, who cares? Actually, 60 frames. But dude, look who look who's in not it. Not 4K, 4K. Look who's no, in the 4K post. 60. This doesn't do 4K 60. This says 4K 30. iPhone Aaron. 10. Yeah. Look who's in the post. Come on. I know who's in the post. I just think it's. Come on. Eh. Gabe. Gabe's in it. You mean. Gabe. You mean. Gabe Cross. OJ. Ben, Remember when they changed his name? Damon. Remember Matt when they changed his name to OJ? Yeah. <laughs> this guy fucks. <laughs> iPhone 10 camera test 4K 60 FPS. Dude, it doesn't. I've filmed on. F- I'll show you right now. Oh my God. Get me out of here. Close the show. I thought we had to prove something on camera. No, no, no. We'll prove it after. Where is it, camera? Well, then that's going to do it for this episode of Bloodshots. Thank you for joining us. They added 4K <laughs> at 60. At bullshit. It's always been. No, 4K. it hasn't. Because I did a test. I did a test. John Cook <laughs> at work can attest to this. We did a video test because I did 4K at 30 and then a 1080, and the 1080 at 60 just looked better. And I said, I'm never going to shoot at 4K again. And it, I have never seen 4K at 60 before. Never. Did they. 
<laughs> they add it. They had to add it. But I'd like to point out, I was right. You were right. If you like the arguments that you see, please head over to Facebook and like us, YouTube, and subscribe. We're on Snapchat and Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. You can give us some money on patreon.com slash derailed. This is your intimate closing. We'll see you next time.